Okay. What are the foundational principles of Kanban? Uh, start with what you do now. So even if you don't have all the information, you know, whatever with whatever information you have, start now. And you have to agree to ev evolutionary change. So uh, you, do, you don't wait for everything to be that. You go with the understanding of what you have now. And as any changes come to the product, you are in agreement that you'll be you're okay to take up changes. And you'll be respecting the current roles and responsibilities of a PD and a PM or a QE, but that's not info. That's not enforced. So that is uh, those are the foundational principles of Kanban. Going into the practices of Kanban, how do you actually uh, uh, operate in a, using Kanban in agile development? You visualize what you need. Uh, you visualize your whole board, your workflow. Uh, what are the different uh, to-do list in your pro product? Limit the work in progress. Don't take uh, more than that maximum limit. Manage your flow. Like understand your flow from the to do from the start to the end. What each task of your product needs to go through. Make your processes explicit so that everyone understands the life cycle of uh, what each task is going through. Implement feedback loops. Of course, this is uh, always to improve. And in software development, we are always looking to improve. Improve collaboratively. Evolve experimentally. So as a team, your whole team understands the Kanban board, and you can work together to see what we can do better in that board and. As you uh, as you pro progress development, you can evolve experimentally. What does that mean? Just to give you an example, let's say a work in progress. We start with two, and we find that uh, some engineers are not occupied. We can increase that to three, and you can see what you can do better. Limiting wor working in progress. Why is Kanban asking us to limit the work in progress? It reduces multitasking. By reducing multitasking, you prevent context switching and you perform tasks sequentially which yields better, uh, sooner results. You can maximize the throughput. Your focus is maximized. It will enhance teamwork. So you work together as a team. Let's say in one part of your workflow, uh, let's, let's say in the to-do list, there are a lot of tasks that are not moving to the next column. All the team can work together to make sure uh, they get enough information uh, to and add it to the to-do list and make sure that the to-do list moves to the next uh, next stage that is in progress. That And that is what means it means in working together and increasing cross-functionality where you can help each other role uh, do what they need. The next strategy is work in progress limit. Yeah, how do you limit the work in progress? So you start with some initial hypothesis critical value, a good start would be the number of the engineers you have working in your team. If you have three engineers, you can start with three to be your initial value. Measure the cycle time. Uh, how much time does it take? If I have three engineers and start three tasks, what is the average time that it takes for all three tasks to release? And then you change the you change your work in progress limit to see how you can improve on your cycle time. Again, uh, another strategy of Kanban is estimation is optional. Now, estimation is optional, but there are, there are, there are a lot of uh, cases in software where you have to estimate, be able to estimate and give a release time as to when you can complete any new feature. So when can you opt for uh, estimation being optional in Kanban is when you are new to the pro pro project and you're, you're not able to estimate it properly. And your estimate, estimations don't change the plan. They're not very very critical to it at a particular time, so it doesn't matter uh, if you don't estimate and you start working on it. Uh, you don't have to measure the velocity of uh, what you're doing. And the team is very experienced that if any task comes in, they know they can do it in one or two days, so they don't have to re-estimate it every time. And the average cycle time is enough for the customer. They don't have to, uh, they don't have hard deadlines as to when this has to be given. They just want the product to be done. These are the cases where you can opt for, in a Kanban mode, uh, having the estimations is optional. Now that we've seen uh, Kanban